Greetings. This is Amy Wentley with Chai Knuckles Knitting, and this is episode 2018 for the Tubular Cast On. I'm teaching a class at the Hillsborough Yarn Shop in Hillsborough, North Carolina, and it's the Galloway Cardigan by Jared Flood. And one of the options for the cast on is a tubular cast on, and that's what I'm going to cover here today. These are the instructions for the tubular cast on. It's called a one by one tubular cast on. And this particular one's for the body. There's a different but very related method to do this for the sleeves. So this is the method for the body. This is done flat knitting and it's done on an odd number of stitches. We're going to start out with a cast on and Jared Flood says we can cast on using any method we prefer. I would like to do the um, crochet cast on, so you can watch me do that. For the crochet cast on, we're going to take a piece of waste yarn for our cast on, for this tubular cast on, and you put a, um, to do a crochet cast on, you put a loop on a crochet hook, you take the working yarn under your project needle, and you loop it around the hook and pull the loop through, and that's one stitch. For the second stitch, you take the yarn to the, the working yarn to the back, reach the crochet hook over the top of the needle, and bring the yarn through. That's two. You push the yarn to the back, take the crochet hook over the top of the needle, and that's three. And I'm going to cast on seven for this demonstration. So this is four, five, and then six, so we now have six on the needle. We stop one, one stitch short, and we just put this seventh stitch that is on the crochet hook up on the needle. And we now have seven stitches cast on. Okay, so that is our, um, our provisional cast on for the tubular cast on. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our working yarn, and we are going to purl all the stitches. This is foundation row right side, we're going to purl all the stitches in the row using the working yarn. So here's my working yarn, big white puffy yarn, and I'm going to purl these seven stitches all the way across. One, two, three, pull that a little tighter, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there you go. Row one done, purl across into your provisional cast on. Okay, we are now at row one, the increase row, and this is wrong side. What we're going to do for this is we are going to set up the ribbing. We're going to increase the stitches and we're going to set up the ribbing all in the same row. The first stitch we're going to knit and then we're going to find the bar between the two stitches and it's pretty easy to do with your provisional cast on in there. You go between these two stitches and you insert your left needle from the front to the back and pick up your working yarn, your project yarn between those two stitches. And we're gonna bring the yarn to the front and we're gonna purl this. So that's part of our ribbing, knit, purl. Gonna take the yarn back. We're gonna knit the next stitch. And the next stitch is gonna be a purl, but it's gonna be picked up from this bar again. So we're gonna insert the left needle from the front to the back into the bar. We're gonna bring our needle, our yarn to the front, purl that stitch, take the yarn to the back, and we knit the next stitch. So we've got knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. The next will be a purl. We're gonna insert our needle from the front to the back, bring the yarn to the front, purl this stitch, take the yarn to the back, and we're gonna knit the next stitch. And then we're going to insert our needle from front to back. The next stitch, bring the yarn to the front, purl it, take the yarn to the back, knit the next stitch, pick up the bar, front to back, we bring our yarn to the front and purl, yarn to the back and knit, then this is the last we're going to pick up, front to back between the stitches, bring the yarn to the front and purl, 
take to the back and knit and you finish that row. So we had seven stitches. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen stitches. We increased by six stitches. And those increased stitches on this side are all pearls. So we're alternating knit, pearl, knit, pearl, knit, pearl, knit, pearl, all the way across. So we're going to turn now, and the next row we're going to do is going to be the tubular row on the right side. This is our first tubular row, and that of two. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to knit the first and the last stitch, and we're going to alternate um, between knits, uh, slipping a stitch and knitting on this next row. So the first instruction here says knit one. So we'll do that. And then it says, knit one again. So we'll do that. That was there. Now we're going to slip one purlwise with the yarn in front and knit one. And we're going to repeat that across the row until we get to the last stitch. So we're going to slip one purlwise with the yarn in front. Then we're going to take the yarn to the back and knit one. We're going to slip the next stitch with the yarn in front as if to purl. We're going to take it to the back and knit the next stitch. We're going to bring the yarn to the front, slip as if to purl, take the yarn to the back and knit. We're going to bring the yarn to the front, slip as if to purl, take to the back and knit. Bring the yarn to the front, slip as if to purl, take the yarn in the back and knit and then we knit the last stitch. So that was tubular row, the first tubular row, row two, it's the right side. So the last row we're going to do is going to be row three. It's the tubular row and it's on the wrong side. We're going to knit the first and the last stitch and then we're going to alternate between slipping one stitch purlwise with the yarn in front and knitting. So the first stitch is going to be a knit and the next stitch is going to be slipping one purlwise with the yarn in front. So we bring the yarn in front, slip, take the yarn in back and knit. We bring the yarn in front, slip, take the yarn in back, knit. Bring the yarn in front, slip as if to purl, take the yarn in back, knit. Bring the yarn in front, slip as if to purl, take the yarn in back, knit. Bring the yarn in front, slip as if to purl, take the yarn in back, knit. Bring the yarn in front, slip as if to purl, take the yarn in back, and knit the last stitch. So that is the tubular cast on. It's those three rows. What you're going to do now is you're going to do the ribbing for the bottom of the sweater. And so from now on, you're always going to knit the first stitch because we're using that to pick up um, for the band at the end of the project. So you knit the first stitch and then you will knit and purl in pattern all the way across to do your ribbing. Nothing fancy. You're just back to regular ribbing at this point. So that is the tubular cast on. What it does is you made a nice double layer of fabric out of um, a single set of stitches. You had started with seven stitches and then you went up to 13 stitches and you essentially doubled the stitches. And in the process of doing that, you made a double sided fabric and it makes a nice rounded edge to your cast on that isn't, you know, it doesn't kind of flare out. It doesn't, it's not raggedy looking. It's actually very nice and trim. And so you can actually keep this yarn in your cast on as long as you want. Or if you'd like, you can, um, you can take it out at any time. Jared Flood recommends that you keep the cast on in for the rest of the project. Um, I think just to give you some, your fabric some integrity. But when you're done with the project, what you'll do is you'll take out this provisional cast on 
And do you see how at the bottom here, it has a very nice rounded edge, front and back. It's like there's no break at all. So you really, you hardly see a cast on really. It's a beautiful thing. So uh, that's the tubular cast on. And there will be further videos as we progress in the sweater at Hillsborough Yarn Shop. Thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.